CataractCoach.com, hand positioning and the microscope view simultaneously in cataract surgery using the picture-in-picture -picture feature here. So putting the fixation ring on the eye, using our side port blade to enter the anterior chamber, make a clean paracentesis. And now we're going to fill the eye with some anesthetic. This is a preservative-free lidocaine solution mixed with balance salt solution. And so important thing here is look how we're holding it. The left hand is holding the viscoelastic cannula like a pencil. The right hand's on the plunger. Also, look what's inside my right hand. I'm palming that fixation ring. Now I switch the fixation ring to the left hand. The right hand now has the keratome. And we position that. And we're going to make our main incision. Again, right hand is holding the keratome like a pencil. That's the most precision. That's the best control during surgery. Now we've got our capsorexis forceps in hand. And we're going to make our capsorexis here. Measuring out to get a good idea. Now the right hand's holding the forceps. The pinky and ring finger of the right hand are braced against the patient's face. The left hand is just giving added support. Now in some cases, I may use the left hand to help fixate the eye. If the patient wanders too much, I can use the chopper through the side port to accomplish that. But in this case, the patient's doing a great job. Notice how we pivot in the incision. Now time for balance salt solution for the hydro dissection. Again, the left hand is holding the cannula tip. That's to make sure it doesn't fly off inadvertently. These are just held on by friction, remember that. And if they get clogged and you push on the plunger very forcefully, you can actually shoot it out like a missile and it can damage the eye. So now that we have a rotating nucleus, a little more dispersive viscoelastic going in the eye, and now ready for our phaco probe and our chopper. And we're gonna use a chop technique here, washing off some of the blood from the surface of the eye. Chopper going in the eye, and then we're gonna buzz in with a phaco probe, sub-incisional area, put the chopper in, and a vertical chop to give us two halves. So now we have two halves, and the first half can be brought up out of the capsule bag and emulsified. This is not too dense of a cataract, and so we're able to just have the one chop at the beginning to give us two halves. Again, look at the position of the hands. Each hand, the right hand is like a pencil, the left hand is too. And look at the position of the phaco probe, almost parallel to the floor of the room, parallel to the iris. Look at that positioning. And the left hand with the chopper, pivoting and moving that hand around to position the chopper in the eye. Again, the pivot point for both hands is the incision. Readjust the patient's head here a little bit. There we go. And now we're ready for the cortex removal. So the technician will switch over to the IA probe. And again, the spatula now in the left hand, that's the other side of my chopper. I just flipped it over. In case there are any little nuclear chips, we can use that spatula to push them down the aspiration port. So again, look at how much pivoting there's outside the eye. Look at the right hand. The IA probe pivots a lot outside the eye, but in the eye moves very little. Again, the pivot point is the incision and we want to keep the eye in primary, a little capsule bag polishing. We're done. Let's keep the eye probe here in that pocket. And we'll fill up the eye with our cohesive viscoelastic. So in goes the cohesive viscoelastic. That looks great. And ready for the lens. Notice how the technician's right there ready for me to hand me the lens, hand me instruments. This is a very experienced technician. Again, right hand holding the injector and on the plunger as well. Left hand helping to fixate the eye. Now using the chopper in the right hand to position the IOL. That's good, and we'll make sure the haptics open up. Everything looks great here. This upcoming week in my own surgery center, I'll plan on shooting a video doing the whole case left-handed as well. So this video is a right-hand dominant video, but I can also do a whole case left-handed, so I'll shoot that for you and post that in the near future. So again, look at the amount of pivoting with the right hand. Left hand is just there for support. We're not having it do anything else. And the right hand is doing all the work here. Help, I'm actually holding the head. The left hand now is holding the patient's head so the patient doesn't move while the right hand can pivot within the eye and remove viscoelastic. So look at that left hand now, just holding the patient's head so we have a minimal amount of movement there. That looks great. And now it's time to seal up the incisions here. Again, holding the tip of the cannula with the left hand. Right hand there on the plunger. Nice, good control. A little Irish prolapse will push that back in the eye. 
and a little bit more hydration of the incision. So this is a good video to show you how we use both hands together and to correlate it with the picture-in-picture -picture of the actual microscope footage. And there's the IOL in good position, seal up the paracentesis, and we're just about done with our surgery. Thank you guys for watching. I sincerely appreciate it. Here at the very end, Wexile with Tetracaine to help seal the incision. Now checking with a dry sponge. That looks great. And we're done. Take off the scope handles, take out the speculum, and now we can move the microscope out of the way and take off the drapes.